Blinker, it's going to show us how to make it. Wonderful. This is a great idea and affordable. I love this idea. Very affordable. Free is always affordable. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, baskets are, you know, really big. You know, we've talked about using them on coffee tables, mm -hmm. on sideboards when you're decorating at different sizes, but they can be expensive. So I made these all, which is using standard household rope, mm -hmm. probably already have in your garage, um, mixing bowl or a trash can or a planter, mm -hmm. our handy glue gun. And then you'll just need something to cut the rope, a knife or scissors, That's it. something like that. That's it. All this right. is great. I know there's got to be more to it. No. There really is nothing more to it. If really? We, if we don't have rope around the house like this, where can we get it? Um, you can get it you, and at I got, a rope I, store. I got this you at a rope store. <laughs> Ropes are us. Um, no, I got this at like Lowe's or Home Depot. Oh, and it's okay. It's like yeah. 40 cents a okay. foot or something. Yeah. So, All right, so we need rope. And this, rope. most people have rope. And that's it. So we're going to start off. Rope will usually fray, you know, at the end. Right. So what you want to do is just sort of stop that from fraying so just get some glue. get some glue on there okay. you should try this with shoestring i bet it'd be phenomenal it would just take a long time <laughs> okay. and then you're going to start your base your bottom which is the flat part and mm -hmm. all you're going to do is glue the rope together this is the one part that's a little tricky because because it takes, hot, takes a little too. bit see i knew it there take, was it takes a, it. it takes a little bit a it's hot and yeah. you may want to have a friend help you like and christina then, there we go wanna, there, oh. i just love the way there the glue go. gun smells just really? Actually, no, I love the smell. I, I was the only one that liked that. No, I do. I, I love was the smelling that marker yeah. we were drawing with out there. I shouldn't be doing that. I was no, smelling no, the chocolate chip cookies. Good. It reminded me. That's not good. It, that, no, it's because a teacher would draw yeah. with the markers I know. on the thing. And it was just I like, know. So all you're going to okay, do is you just want, yeah, want to go around to get almost like a coaster, and that's going to be your base. And you want to make this base as large as your, as your vessel. So if I was going to use this Pyrex dish here, but you would not. You wouldn't just start gluing it to the to a bigger. No, because you're only using this to get the shape. You're actually okay. not gluing it to the bowl. Okay. So then once you have that, oh, I you see. just keep adding the glue and spinning it around. It in no, it. you're just using the bowl to give yourself the shape. Oh, oh I see. That's so okay. you just Beautiful. keep doing that and holding it and going around. I have one. This I'm not holding long enough, so it's going to be yeah, because it comes sure. apart. You need but to hold it for a Here's one I was working on earlier. Right. Christina, okay. I'm going to let you. Ah. And so, see, here you go. And all you're going to do at this point, it's nice to turn it upside down because then your glue will just sit on top. And you just. Now, in the event that glue. the glue does stick to the glass and the rope, does it come out freely? Do you want to spray this with Pam? You or don't something, need to or? spray it, but that's a very good point. You want to use glass or metal or ceramic, something that's really not porous so it doesn't or stick. Or like okay. you don't want to do it to like, oh, I've got a, gra a you know, another wicker basket, I'm going to use that because you want something where the glue is yeah, not going to stick. Yeah, because that's going to stick to right. it. You get it to the size you want and really like these ones, I went small, this I went tall. And then all you're going to do is when you're done, snip off your edge. Yep. And then you want to do the same thing you did before, which it's is a glue. little bit of glue at the end mm -hmm. and make sure you get a good seal there at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Did you make the other one that's braided? That, yes, I did. That's, and then all you're going to do is pop out your bowl. Now, the bowl okay. will stick a little bit because mm -hmm. you probably have some glue that, that, one, that yeah. seeped through. Here we go. I think I got it. It all here. comes off. Okay. Yeah, OK. All right. I put a lot of glue there. There you go. And there oh, you go. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. Look how lovely that is. I love that. That's perfect. Great for you know giving away gifts and all that. Yeah, and so this one here that I did, I got a little funky because mm -hmm. I've been braiding Coco's hair constantly. So all I did <laughs> was I got three ropes. Did a long That's braid fine. and then I, I just that. curled the braid around. That's fantastic. Looks like a million bucks, really. And seriously, it's, you got rope in your garage. You I love it. That's I wonder how they did that. Boy, okay, the, this is great. Expensive. Okay. Well, for more, they are. And for more information, you can visit kennethwingard.com.